looks like perfectly loaded. We're in here right away. Let's see what we have coming out. Right locked off the bat in terms of ugly hamsters. We have Fixman on Chambers. We have Dibney on Neon. Xerox on Astro. And looks like Bean is hovering Breach. And we also have Tanguchi hovering Cairo. Or Kyo. Kyo. Always add the R. You don't know why. It looks like Bean is going to go ahead and lock in that Breach. And in terms of ECG, we have Cairo. Now oh, that's why. That's why I do it. Because ECG has a guy named Cryer. Cairo is hovering Chambers. Laxi is hovering Neon. We have Skylar hovering Sky. Fang hovering Kyo. Oh, God. This is Tongue twister. And Tango Tree did go ahead and lock in that Cairo pick. We still have a ECG still waiting to lock in their entire team. We'll go ahead and see what happens going forward. It looks like Skippy is now also hovering on Astro. Looks like we're going to have a pretty even match in terms of agents. The only difference between Bean going to play Be Breach and we're going to have Skylar playing Sky as it does look like Cairo's locking in Chambers. We have Laxi locking in Neon. Skylar's locking in Sky. Fang is going ahead to lock in Kyo and Skip this round and Skippy to see if they lock in Astro. Choose your agent. With a 10 second left on the timer. So, as we cut over to right now, it does look like we do have Skippy locking in Astra, and we are pretty much on our way, ready to go here. Make some last second adjustments to audio. We are going to pause our Spotify playlist as we load into the match here. As it looks like ECG is playing defenders first with. Ugly hamsters on attack. So, ladies and gentlemen, sit back, get ready to come come watch some Valorant. Oh, we have some a couple of good matches going on today. We have best of ones to start. And then for the grand finals, we do have a best of three. So, like I said, make sure to stick in through the long haul. We have a couple of matches. I'm gonna try and get through the best I can. My voice is sort of shot from yesterday because I'm not usually a shot caster or a streamer. But we do what we can. I'm gonna make do, I'm gonna get it, get this rolling. I'm going to try and get as smooth as possible, get as many VODs as we can, to upload YouTube channels, and provide it along for highlight reels. So, like I said, everyone, sit back, relax, have, and watch some good game of Valor. As we load in, and I have to get rid of my numpad again, because I didn't practice this at all. I probably should have practiced this. I didn't practice this at all. So, right off the bat, it looks like we do have... Let's see, what's our setup here? We do have, looks like so, an A stack coming on in over from Ugly Hamsters. I'm gonna start, probably start calling them Hamsters for short. And over on the defender side of ECG, it looks like we have the regular split. We have Astro holding down C. We have Chambers uh, floating between B there. We have Cairo sitting on B as well with Sky and Neon on A. It looks like Chambers actually gonna go back to A. We have the three man hold A as the attackers are just sort of floating around right now between A and B. And it looks like let's get right underway. There. Nothing impressive coming out yet. We do have this neon push and try and get some of this information. I'm gonna go ahead and push right up A. And there's gonna be a little bit of a smoke cloud inside the A lobby here. There's have chambers wrapped up as well. We have two people from ECG ready for this A split back. It does look like they're gonna start coming into B. And B is gonna be the site to take. And we got Tango Tree walking out. There's a couple fights that right over. And they go down in ECG side. The bomb is... Oh, the bomb does not Spike get planted, down, actually. Spike B. is down on B. ERX is sitting there trying to find an angle as Fang and Skylar are watching the A to B connector, and Skippy is holding B, watching the main door. So it looks like there is a wrap on coming on here through Double Door. We're going to go ahead and jump on over to Bixman. Teleport's ready. Bixman watching the men to see if anything can happen, but no one's in the smoke, no one revealed. So we're going to have a slow push here through the Double Doors into the C Garage C window area. First one coming in is Bean and A Health. going to be the scout. Sort of the sacrifice of the land in this case. He's skipping, skip it's the first shot. And we're gonna line up and get the flashbang on to peak. Like, and goes down to peak. Bang goes down. Bang takes down Venom. You're actually gonna have to place a couple of smokes down. Chamber's gonna go ahead and on to peak. Like, go down to Skylar. And it looks like we're now just down to ERX. ERX takes down Skippy. Two more are sitting in the BA connector. Skylar's watching BA connector down a little bit low on health. 30 but seconds. Left. Health on the B. We're gonna pull out back to the main lobby. They're gonna throw the flashbang and try to find ERX. It's a semi blind, but not enough going forward. Skylar's going to be the winner. And Skylar's going to take up your extra 4k off the bat. Alrighty, so that's a very exciting round round one coming in to start the tournament. And let's see it continue. Right, so it looks like we are going to, of course, have the eco buy coming out in terms of the attackers on this one. Um, no bomb plant money, only a couple of kills, not enough to go ahead and do a force buy. We have Eco Round setting up, go ahead and looks like they're gonna set up the A push. As in terms of ECG, they have 
Looks like they have the Asher on C, Neon jumping between the C window area. We have Fang holding B as long as Sky. And then we have Chamber Solar holding A long. It looks like we do have a couple of stacked up here right now towards the doors going over the C. We do have Neon pushing up C, and Neon gonna get a quick little poke of the Frenzy and get the kill over on Lax. Neon, da Neon damage. Fang gonna try and drop the nade to get some information. So Lax's and Billy is coming on down, but it looks like they're gonna pull out a double doors here. Actually, Ben's gonna stay around checking out the Take a whole bunch of damage and go down, trying to greed to the good little King and Trace able to go ahead and get the kill over on Cairo. And it looks like they're going to be able to take B site and ro fully rotate on over to A, as A is less undefended as everyone rotated over to the B area. And Chamber was the only one defending it. So we're going to to get the plant down here. Looks like BC is going to be playing for the retake in this case. All these guys see some stuff that's going down. We have Bixman trying to watch the Heaven area. We have Dimmy watching the A to B connector. And that's. We have a two on three situation. We have Asher coming around to the B to A as well as Skyler. We're going to, have to see if we can get anyone here to peek. Denny's going to go watch A long. We have Chambers looking around now, watching the A to B connector. Go ahead and see Skippy take the first shot and win. Slash coming in. Teleporting back right into the waiting arms of Fang. Pushing that A to B. Yeah, Skippy on her own, trying to hold her own, and goes down as well. But they didn't get the round win, but they did get the bomb plant. Get a little extra economy going into round three. Help their fourth battle be easier. And see what happens come round number three. Alrighty. So, round number three, we do have the attackers in this case. More likely going to be, yep, attackers going to be buying them. These are round three, a little bit of time left. Some of them are, actually all of them are pretty broke. So if they lose this round, it is going to be a course an eco round coming out in terms of ugly hamsters. Um, they almost won the last round with an economy pistol on, so I think they might be able to try and take something here. But we do have a setup as Cairo does yeah. have the op looking down C long. We have Neon sitting in a garage. Looks like Sky sitting on A long as well, as well as Asher sitting on C. See if any action happens. We could have a quick peek here. We're going to jump on over to this angle here with Laxley. Laxley is having to get noticed. A couple of shots going down double doors here. And Laxley is going to take the aggressive. Almost get shot through the wall here on the pre fire. But he's able to avoid it. And here looks like we have Carl about to sneak into Asher. Oh, they'll jump around and just barely clips the land. Is Erex able to get around with it? Looks like a grace of damage. I'm not sure if it hit the foot or what happened there through the wall, but. Able to get out mostly through unscathed as we do have a push coming down A. It looks like with the information of Chamber sitting on C with the op, they're going to have an op for A after getting pre fired through the wall as well in C connector. And it looks like no one's sitting on A. The closest one is Skylar. The Skylar's holding that B to A connector right now. There's no one really there watching it. A couple of abilities going down trying to get in the rotate. So that's going to drop the timber walls and try and get the information. And we're going to go ahead and wait and see three members sitting at A and the bomb is going to go down. I saw BCG has to rotate over with this A section. So Skyler's going to go ahead and play the Heaven location. We have Dean playing underneath Heaven. And looks like Skyler's those two of them have to move up in the territory. We have the defense going down right now. See Tango Chief's watching up. Tango Chief's actually watching the Heaven hold right now. Let's see if he's able to peek. Nope. Looks like they just missed each other. He's going to get brought by the smoke. Skyler's going to get Drop down and Dean's going to go. Oh, looks like a couple of kills going out across the board. Dean kills Skyler. Laxie kills Dimmy. Dean kills Laxie. Kyra goes and it looks like sniping off the power as well for a 3k. They're able to get the defuse and they're able to retake the site successfully to go up 3 0. No fireworks today, I'm afraid. Oh. I don't know what you're talking about, talking about fireworks. It seems like this is the day that a whole bunch of fireworks hope it's sent and come out to smash pretty early and not make my job any much easier with my throat being sore from the last game. Uh, last, last day. But That's a good I'm gonna keep on going, hopefully. I mean, as long as we can have an exciting round, it's gonna be a pretty entertaining tournament overall, especially for these final couple of matches we have set up here tonight. And we can declare the winner of the $100 prize pool for this free entry tournament. So, Coming out, looks like we have a stack coming in over to the B double doors to C push, eco round. Chambers is already sitting there waiting. Inside the blue, don't get flashed and teleport back to get out of it as the answer is going to push in. Put the wall down at this point, directly onto the site. Looks like, it looks like all of the answers are going to take the site here. The DCG is going to be playing for retake once again. You want to play? Let's play. Make the force of the body and turn it over. That's painful. Bixman is going to try and get some shots on the Bixman pop the ulti, trying to get kills as well. Kyra's watching the corner with the ulti as well. And Kyra is able to get the kill on to Bixman. A couple of smokes coming down. But it looks like Neon's trying to get the flank here. Oh, I don't know what happened. Yeah, looks like the issue is to really jump around with our cameras. And like, and well, let's see if they weren't able to retake the site. Single handling, and there is a defuse. It's only in to take a 4-0 retake. Team A 
We did our oh, no one died in the side of ECG from round four. You have the key to their economy strong going into round number five. Coming round number five here. We're on the force that coming out of ugly hamsters. Gonna try and turn this one around. I mean, they're getting close to getting these bomb plants. All they need is one good fight, and they'll be able to take a couple rounds away from ECG and swing this momentum back into their favor. So it looks like they set him going forward right now. We have a couple people set up into this. They build a grass carrier pushing into the garage. People set up C. Um, and the defender side, we have three over at A, one on B, and one in that C garage window. But it looks like we have no one really sitting there watching the C long. So a couple of the buildings going on C long, but they might just be able to walk in here. Yep, the wall's going down from Dindy. Looks like we have the breach ultimate coming in. Rolling Stone is able to get a little bit of, a little bit of delay. Skippy's going to go ahead and see. Dindy's going to see Skippy through the smoke there. Keep on trying to pre fire, but I'm going to kill Skippy. He's able to kill the air rifle. He's going to kill the Skippy's going to come down, Tango Chief. He's going to kill Skippy. He's going to jump in. Fang. Denise is able to get the kill on Fang as we're not going to sit here and have a couple people trying to get on the site and hold this going forward. Fryer's going to go ahead and try and get the garage to get the headshot through the wall here, but do get a flashbang by the breach. This guy is going to get a kill as well. We're not going to sit here and sit in a 2 and 2 situation. This guy is going to start walking slowly on the site. Sure. Let's get the kill on Vixman and then let's get the kill on Skyward down to a 1 on 1. As it looks like Bean is going to back off on site, try to play the C long area for the defuse. It does happen to get the information on Bean. He's throwing a couple of jumps around trying to no avoid the DQ as much as he can. But it looks like the DQ is going to come in. And Dean's going to be killed at the ground. We're going to go over on to Ugly Hamsters. The first round of the match form. And start to get, hopefully, that momentum swing back into their favor, though. Get this run a little bit closer than what it started off as. Dean's still has some cool swords. I mean, this is the second time we've seen an awesome knife sword thing. I mean, I mean, it looks all fair. It's way bigger than any knife. I feel like the hitbox knife should be a little bit bigger than normal. Right there. But right there. You what you can. So, right now, going into this, we have it looks like another C setup coming in from the attackers. We have Ch uh, Cairo sitting with looks like the ultimate. Watching down the hallway. Yep, able to get the one kill on over Spy to Brennan. Looks like fault, another wall going down on the C. It then just pushes right on the site, skips and gets the kill on Vex, man. Okay, it did happen to skip the rest skip gets another kill on the Dindy. And she seems to be going to try and push on the site as well, but doesn't get any information to come through. As the rest of the team is sitting down C long right now, trying to get the kill on Dindy. Skip won't get the kill on Dindy. Skip won't get gets two kills themselves, and he's going to be able to fall back here as they're getting two kills, trying to get a little bit of information. As well as possibly get to rotate as the rest of ECG does rotate over to the C site. Trying to defend the push and hope, um, looks like going to get partially bamboozled as the full rotate is going to come along here from Ugly Hamsters. Ugly Hamsters going to, looks like ERX is going to be able to walk on the site here. No contest, shot the full smoke, get a little bit of vision, but the spike is going to go down A and ECG looks like they're not even rotating. The spike planted. goes down as they realize that the spike has come down and it's not on C. They're now starting to rotate on over. And it looks like they're able to hear us long on B site, so they're going to go straight on over to A. And it looks like the ERX might be playing for the long game of vision and just economy. Not wanting to take the 201, just getting the bomb plant for the little extra eco as well, saving their gun going into round number six. And possibly accepting this round is just a loss. I personally like the move. They had a couple bad rounds so far, but oh, ERX actually had broke through stone. ERX is going to start coming around, get the flash, but it looks like the flash isn't going to spot ERX down, so they don't think it should be in right now. There are a couple of abilities coming down. Listen for the defuse. The defuse is down. Going to ERX and the kill on Laxi with the 3k and the bomb, the bomb plant is going to stick. And it looks like we're going to have the explosion cool. ERX. And Ugly Hamster going to win around. And Scar just killed ERX though. Losing a little bit of extra economy they had in last one to the very end. So a good kill by Scar to help to shut the economy a little bit in terms of Ugly Hamster. But Ugly Hamster does get the win in order to buy next round as well. I do apologize again for the little bit of interruptions of speaking as I am taking sips of water. I don't have a second cast in the booth with me to sort of fill in the void, so it, is, it makes a little bit of awkward timing at times. You are divided. I apologize for that. It looks like Nian's going to push through the seat garage here once again. So this seems to be the move everywhere. Diddy's going to get some information down onto the C site and not be able to see anyone. I do have a couple of people on COVID. He's starting to get some help. 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 He
Tango Tree does happen to know Crowers at least there. I'm not sure if we know his fangs there as well. As it looks like Breach is going to push on the egg, trying to think no one's there. Just fully stomping away. Oh, putting a flash ball. Putting a flash ball. Skyler's in because of the kill to the flash. Spike down A. Skyler was in because of the kill to the flash on being Erex. Once again, the soul survivor. We're going to try to get the bomb and get a little extra economy back into the round. But it does look. Once again, trying to drop some smoke, trying to get a little vision. Erex is going to hide under heaven. And if you get the flashman fang shot, drops a couple of shots, so they do know what Erex is doing. It does die to Carl. The defuse is going to come in for a round win in ECG's favor. It's going to take the lead 5 2 2 going into round number 8. Oh man. These guys came ready to play, but on both sides today. They're ready to win, they're ready to play, they're ready to continue their time into the tournament. It looks like we do have a timeout coming in from Bean, so as this timeout comes in, we are going to go ahead and switch back. Alright, and we're back. Timeout's over. Everyone's set up, ready to go. And let's go back over to the defenders. The defenders are sitting there, set it up, ready for looks like BA hybrid with Chamber. Uh, Car is going to go ahead and hold down that C long like he has been. As we lock on over to Dixman, we do have an eco round coming out in terms of ugly hamsters, as they're all sitting about 1.5k to 2k currently. But we do have the smokes coming down from ERX, trying to get it, block off the vision a little bit. Uh, it looks like we have a push coming right from Dizzy. Dizzy's going to get the push and try to get it open. Fang, Fang, he does get the trade from the one. He did get the kill on Dizzy, but last week he didn't get the kill on Dizzy as well. As we're going to play Dizzy to the smoke, there are a couple of kills coming out. But it looks like that's all there is to it to the trades, and we're not on 3v2 in turn in favor of ECG. As Vixman's pushing the seat window here, trying to possibly get some sound into either a kill or trying to get something here on the rotate. Carl's watching both, not. Sort of ready for anything that happens here. We got the peak, and Carl was ready to kill Bixman onto the C window as it looks like ERX once again. The sole survivor for Ugly Hamsters walking straight into this BA connector with the flashbang going off. But it looks like they're ready. They're ready for this connector to happen. The smoke going to go down into the BA connector uh, in terms of Easy Junior X is going to try and possibly get the flank around 2 CT, but little do they know. Oh, no. We have the waiting hands of Cairo ready to get the kill here. As ERX is going to be spotted. Cairo is going to miss the first shot as he's going to pop the kill to try and get a better bit of the angle. But all BCG is ready to go ahead and turn and watch ERX turn the CT side, try and turn around and just get, get the couple kills they can going. 30 into seconds it. left. So ERX is going to try and wiggle peek. No one there. Wiggle peek in and Cairo is going to pick up the kill on ERX. He's a 6 2 lead going into round number 9. Here's a quick look at the scoreboard as we have everyone setting up so far as the buys are coming in. We'll say we're going to 13 and 3, Kyra 9 and 4, Skippy 8 and 5, Sam 5 and 5, five Lassie 4 and 7, Bean 6 and 7, Tango Tree 6 and 8, Yurek 6 and 8, Denise 4 and 8, and Pixman 2 and 8. So we have a couple of ops coming up from both sides here. And it looks like we have a 3A stack coming out over from ECG where Chamber is the lone holder on B and Ash is going to hold C as there looks like a C stack coming in from the attackers. So let's see if Skippy can see anything. If Skippy Consume sees the knife it. coming out, but is able to walk away. Oh, I'm not going to give that information as an ultimate is used by Breach. So it looks like he's going to give up the site and go ahead and try to play for the retake. Yeah, again. On to C. This guy is going to go ahead and drop the temporal, trying to get information. See Dizzy in the corner. And let's see if anything is going to come off of this here. I was going to try and get a couple peak shots of the op, and that's going to come through fully. We have Skippy watching the, the C lobby here, the C garage area. Well, Spang and Skyler's in watching. Skippy's going to put the flash in. We have a couple of coming on down. It looks like Dizzy's going to get two kills. Or Eric's going to get another one. And there was another player there. Skippy's going to push down. He's not going to kill, but he's going to get one more. He's going to kill Skippy. But Dizzy was able to kill Skyler for around for around nine minutes in terms of Ugly Hanson's favor. So, a couple more rounds to go to the half. Couple, hopefully a couple more wings in terms of Ugly Hamster being a little bit closer in their favor as they're going to try and tie us up as much as possible going into their CT side to take that into this loser bracket, loser round four round to avoid elimination. So the defense, defense side we have, it looks like Chambers and Asher setting up on C. We have Fang holding into the C garage here, possibly on C as well, leaving it equally undefended. As Skyler and Laxie are going to push on A, Laxie going to push forward A. We have a little slow delay coming out in terms of the attacker side. Hoping to with a couple of abilities here. As they're not going to go to push this A lobby and check A long. A couple more couple abilities, but Laxie is going to be waiting in the corner for him. 
It looks like we have Skyler sitting in there as well, so let's go. Lax is going to punch. Lax is going to get the gun. Over. I'm going to do the English tree. Pick up the gun and retreat, getting the trade into their favor. Pick up the gun and getting the kill as well as losing most of their health by able to get pretty much everything they could to possibly help them going forward. As Erex is now going to go ahead and walk into the C garage area. We have Cairo as well watching, but we do have Bixman watching on A. Feel like someone's in A looking goofy over. He does see the flash coming over from heaven, knowing someone's getting a little bit of information with the team. Knowing at least there's one on A side right now, is everyone's going to keep on rolling, taking forward to C. See the push on C. As Erex is going to go ahead and kill Iron King the push the fight, as well as Dizzy. Dude's going to jump jump on the site, get a couple of shots off. Don't find anyone. Smoke and walls going down, so Valentine's going to go out and try to set up for his defensive position to try and prevent the retake happening. But we do have a flank coming around from Bixman right now. As looks like LCG right now is working their way slowly in the fight, as long as his walls up as a two way wall. Well, he's going to go ahead and get three kills as soon as he reveals up from the wall, hiding in the little corner there. And Beans going to go down to Skyler. Skyler's on his own, trying to get this defuse as well. And he'll get the kill over on Skyler to take himself on the ground in terms of ugly hamsters. Oh. So we're not looking at a 6-4 lead, um, 6-4 game right now. 6 is on the terms of ECG and 4 on the terms of Ugly Hamsters as we now start round number 11. With all this earlier, ECG took an early 6-0 lead earlier in this tournament on Haven and then the attackers was able to tie it up before ECG just turned back around and was able to do a full sweep on the, on the attacker's side. So, looks like we have another C stack coming out in terms of the attackers. We have two on C for the defenders, one on C window, and two on A. As it looks like Lax is going to push up with the flashbang, but not find anyone. No one's home. As two is going to go ahead and set up into the C long setup. As Skippy's going to watch the oh, long. Push into the smoke, get two through the smoke, and prevent the breach off. These breach off comes through. A couple of shots going down, but. Fully unguarded as Tengu does get to go on Fang in the C window. Skitcher goes ahead and pushing the backside and gets another kill on Tengu. Look at that. I'm pretty sure this is a 3k so far, as much as the kill people represent it right now. But it looks like Kyra's able to get remaining. a kill as well. As there's only one left, as it looks like we have a flank coming around in terms of Laxi. We're going to jump over to Laxi, get in the flank here, get a couple shots and rotate into the waiting arms of Laxi. We're going to get the kill on the ERX to take it round number 11. Alrighty, folks. Round Last round the before the swap. Let's see what happens here. Looks like we're probably gonna have some force fights come out as much as they can. Looks like Tantri is on an ego. Was able to get a buy. Thank you. York does have a gun. Didi has a gun. And Dean has a gun as well. So we have a force fight come out for this round. Last right final there. round, as expected. You're gonna spend all your money. Otherwise, you lose it going to the next round. You don't get to carry it into the next half. So looks like we have an A stack coming out in terms of Ugly Hamsters with, once again, Laxi sitting ready for this A long push. It looks like I'm not sure she's going to be aggressive. You want now. to play? Let's play. The corner, sees the first person cross into the A lobby as it causes the sky to fall back. And we still have a watch from Laxi. We're going to keep on trying to get a little bit into the base. The flash goes on Laxi as we get the first go over on the beam. As it looks like Tangu Tree is going to get across here and not be able to pick up Asher. As it looks like he's going to fall back as Laxi is going to have to get the other kill as well. Two attackers out of the, uh, three attackers out of the, sorry, I should say, in terms of ugly hamsters. As they're now trying to recoup, trying to get the information of the other one, trying to kill Lassie, but Lassie is a bit quicker on the trigger, a. and gets to kill over on Baxman. And now, once again, it's all on the ERX, and the Pacers are going to kill him, gets the second kill on Fang, but sadly, ERX doesn't have the spike. The spike's down in the A lobby. All you see do is hold this for the next 56 seconds, and they're going to go ahead into the half with an 8-4 to four lead. So... We're gonna go ahead and keep an eye here on Erex, but I don't. I'm not sure what much is gonna happen, honestly. I mean, I've seen crazier. We have seen one v fours happen almost into a one v five. So I mean, anything can happen in terms of Erex trying to get some kills. So I'm not sure how well they're gonna be expecting everyone to be waiting pretty much in a lobby as Shame is gonna watch the backside. As a, Thirty oh, seconds Laxie left. Not see? I don't think Laxi saw. No, Laxi is on an angle. The cross. <laughs> so we do have Erex getting the kill there on Skyler as everyone's going to get ready for the look into a lobby. Laxi and Crash the drop. The wall goes down. Erex is going to push the wall. Push back to the wall. Oh, but Laxi is going to come up behind the wall and get the 4k to end the round. 8 to 4. So, 8 to 4 lead Switching in sides. terms of ECG in this match. All they need is a couple more wins and they're going to continue into the loser's bracket to keep their tournament hopes alive. Looking at the scoreboard to come to half, we have a 15 and 6 for Skylar, 12 and 8 for Skippy, Cairo is 10 and 6, Laxi is 10 and 9, and Fang is 6 and 9. And ERX is 11 and 10, Dean is 9 and 11, Dini is 7 and 10, Tango is 7 and 12, and Bixman 4 and 10. So it looks like we have a 
So it looks like right now into this buy phase we have a heavy stack happening on both sides in terms of attackers and defenders. We have one soul person over on C that is ERX by dropping a couple of smokes, getting ready for the push. But it looks like overall we have a decently heavy sized stack on the defenders for A. And it looks like ECG is now deciding to go into this grass area, probably waiting to see a couple of abilities come out. What they do, but we do have Dino to get some information. I'm gonna drop down a couple of Dropped on the speed boost as the smoke comes down. No information is going to be found out here as it looks like he's going to go ahead and back off. As there is still an ASAC for the attackers, as the defenders go ahead and split, trying to get a little more information. There's Dinny under low, so I'm the A long. Oh, shots going to come out, and Dinny. Dinny's going to relay information to the team. No one's going to move just yet as the bullet comes down well. They just got a little information as we have the rush from DCG. And Lassie is going to get the kill on Dinny as he's going to keep on continuing on to the A site. Just full borders. He's going straight into it here. As Blacks is going to head onto site, we have a shot on Bexing by able to get the teleport back. As we do have one in heaven, Bangs are going to keep on as well. Stingley Tree's in heaven, a couple shots coming out, Sky's going to drop the smoke down into the A connector. And Stingley Tree, the smoke is going to dissipate and try and get a little bit of information. We're going to drop the flash bang, try and turn to the breach, does see crowd, but not able to get the headshot quick enough. That information is all just trying to ultimate. We have a big push coming, Beat Bean and RX in a couple of his kippies, going to get a call on Bean. We're now sitting in the 3v3 onto this site. As it looks like a fake defuse going to come out of it, as possibly a smoke as well. Information the ERX going to go ahead and try and get Skippy, but that's going to get the kill. Symmetry does get the kill as well. Trying to go and get those AQs, Symmetry going to get the kill. It's only left to Skippy. Two is going to be able to get Skippy before Skippy gets one. Skippy gets the other. And Skippy gets three. Skippy got. Oh, uh, sorry, before Skippy gets four. Skippy gets a one beep. Uh, gets four kills into the round. Let's take a nine for later. East Street holding out and able to get the perfect shots needed in order to win the pistol round going into the second half. I gotta visit the Astral to play some stars. So, after the same for ECG, they're gonna have the uh, guns going into this target. I mean, it might be a force buy in terms of, let's see, the Tinders are choosing to stick with an eco round, even though they've got a couple of kills. Not forcing anything going forward. They can afford to take another pistol, it's only 9 to 4. As ECG is going ahead and look at this grass area again, as there's a heavy C stack over on C with the pistol, expecting them to be a rush because they have guns. But A and B is completely undefended. As of right now, no one's really watching, no one's even looking at it remotely. So let's see if Tango Chief looking at the door, his spots too grass, but able to walk out while getting shot. Alright, more shots coming down, but able to just fully get out of it without taking any damage and trying to get a couple pot shots into the door themselves. So ECG aware that there's a couple people in the C connector is going to have to start going over to A, check their corners and do a slow rotate over to A right now as the rest of Ugly Hamsters is stacked on C. Well, it looks like they're just going to walk on in, checking their corners, checking all their blind spots. They're not going to find anyone waiting in the corners, the same as Michael Myers. So, we're going to go ahead and walk onto site a couple of, some more spots, and they're going to realize the site's empty, get the bomb plant down, and get ready to defend as Ugly Hamster's going to have to do the retake here. Let's see if they get any luck on the retake, as well as EGG's had this entire game. So this guy's going to drop those information. See at least one in the connector, but not know the rest of them are going to come that way. A couple of smokes are going to come down. In terms, in terms of and now just push the corner. Wall is down as well. They're so dropping the site. Game's going to get one. He's going to get one. He's going to get the other. Lassie's going to get Vicky and Scout's going to get Dinny. And Lassie is going to go ahead and get Bean as well to take a 10 4 lead. Alrighty. So. We do have a force by coming out in terms of ugly hamsters. They need to get a couple of rounds under the belt. They need to fix their economy. They need to get the wins. They need to keep everything going as much as possible. We're going into this right now. Let's see. Gun here. Trying to buy the couple of, couple of guns on for it, but looks like full eye is coming out. Do I just do I just uh, yep, and Aries on the terms of Skylar. As they're going to push C, as Tyler's going to stay here back into the connection, just maybe push it through, and then he gets punished on the push. And he is able to get the kill as some footsteps are going down as well as starting to rotate over the C, but you have to reach the B and the waiting arms to stop on the flashbang to rotate to get out of this with minimal, well, at least half their HD gone. Because you have a push, and you to go get the kill on the family tree. Just drops the walls on C, picks up a gun, and runs out. As it looks like we do have Laxi going back into mid. Your ex is waiting for it. Take this. Actually, just a couple abilities down, drop a couple flashes, and watch the fight. Just get spotted through Laxi, drop a couple flashes, and Ron and your ex is going to get two kills. And here, I'm going to drop a couple damage on the other. 
shot to the smoke, a whole bunch of shots to the smoke. Takes me trying to get some sniper oh, this smoke. Skippy's on the low HP. Skyler's on the buff. Of course, Eric's getting the kill over on the Skippy. And it looks like Skyler's going to have to jump back and start push on that day. I mean, on the sea, apologies. Oh, they're going to get the sea plant down. And there's going to be a plant coming in and a retake, possibly from Ugly Hamster. So they're going to go through the CT side into the connector. But it looks like Chambers is watching the play. The flank is definitely going to walk out. Like, the see Fang can get the kill. This time, see Skyler across, knowing that there's one long haul. But. I was going to have to push garage. Defuse is positive coming from Vix, man. Switch back over here to ERX watching the see, see all. Oh, Kyra's going to get the blind side on Vix, man. Get the kill. As ERX is now once again left alone trying to do any, anything they can to get the defuse in this. Try to get the blind. Let's get remain. the kill on Kyra. Kyra's on the left seat long. We're going to try and stick the half defuse. Sticking the defuse so far. I'm glad this guy was going to keep just enough to get the kill on ERX to take 11 of 4 lead. Ooh. Alrighty. So, oh, we have their four lead coming out in terms of ECG. A couple more victories for them, and they're going to move on further into the tournament. So, oh, looks like we have a normal stack coming out. We have a couple over at A, one at B, one at C window, and one more on C as the attackers are sort of doing their usual stay back a little bit, get a little information, and decide with the rotate as the timer ticks down. So far with the stack in this mini area, looks like the pods are going to go A. They're going to trip on with the Dinny. Dinny's going to scout this A long area. Try and get anyone peeking through, hugging the wall a little bit so anyone that peeks won't see him right away. But a couple shots are not good. He does get the dink, but it's too far away. Skyler does get the kill. Dinny, Dinny cannot finish through. As information is going to come down, and we have a rotate coming out in terms of ECG's going to possibly going to see now. They know one, at least one to A. They got the kill. They've seen him. And Kyra's going to walk right into the C site. See the smoke going down. We change the C garage area. Kyra's going to throw the back on the site. A couple of enemies detected. And most of the bombs are going down in terms of Kyra. Last thing, Skippy getting a couple of kills. We do have Skippy get another kill on Tango Tree. Going left alive. It's good. And it looks like Kyra's going to get the kill from Big Man through the smoke with a little bit of help from Laxley on that neon push. Match point. So, match point coming through now. Let's see what happens next. So oh, I imagine we're gonna have a force by here. Yeah, we have judges, we have scouts. Not scouts. That is not a scout. That is I can't think of what that gun is. But that is not a scout. That is Apex Legends. As a Spectre comes out, a Vandal. It's gonna bother me until I remember what that gun is. It looks like a new one. Let's play. We do have a push card. Diddy's able to get one and Laxi is able to get the trade as well. It looks like a couple of flashbangs coming out, but we do have another push coming on the C as Erex is once again the sole person on C as Ugly Hamster is pushed up. Erex is going to get one as Skippy gets the other on the Erex. He was teleport back. Uh, information coming out as it looks like ECG is already going to rotate off the C knowing they got the kill. Then they're going to push it. But it looks like we sit there and we're going to have Bean and Tangler Tree push on the C expecting to find something and no one's there. No one is home. You want to find ECG it. is already rotating back over. Skippy's going to watch the C long, hurting some footsteps. Oh, but looks like they're gonna go back. He's gonna make some noise over anything and they're gonna push the A site, but see what happens. Falls back right now, no one's there, no one's home. I was committed. Looking, looking at Dangly Tree, a couple of shots coming out, a couple of damage. Black Seed's gonna get the kill on Dangly Tree, and they might commit C. They're gonna go back all the way back to commit C. After Ugly Hamster, everyone rotated over to B and A. They're gonna fully commit C right now and get the bomb planted. As it looks like Bean's gonna be the first one there. And Posse turns away to hit the Laxie. Laxie gets up a shot. Skippy gets a kill on Bean. And there's one left around in terms of Ugly Hamsters. And let's see if ZG can hold this out to take the winners advance into the next round. And there it is. Karo is able to get the kill on this man. And that is sadly the end of the run for Ugly Hamsters into this tournament. As ECG advance into loser round five to face Ashley seven. So we're gonna take a quick look at the scoreboard here. As you look at the scoreboard, we have 29 on Skippy, Laxley 18 and 11, ERX 16 and 5, Skylar 18 and 8, Cryro 15 and 9, Sydney 8 and 15, Tango G 10 and 17, Bean 10 and 16, Fang 7 and 13, and BX Man 0. I'm uh, sorry, BX Man 6 and 15.